In this video, I'll show you how to turn on your WordPress error log using the WP config file in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this video is based on this particular article here. So I'll leave a link to it in the description below because later on we'll be using some code from this particular article, right? So if you want to copy the code, as I said, I'll leave the link in the description below and you can follow along. So with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's turn on debug mode using a plugin. OK, so the plugin we'll be using is WP debugging. So I'm just going to copy this name here and then we'll head over to our dashboard and then we'll go plugins and then add new. Now we can search for our plugin. OK, and I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to update it now and then just make sure I've activated it once it's updated. OK, so now let's just click activate. OK, so it's activated fine and now it's displaying the error message um, on our dashboard. But let's go ahead and double check the settings to ensure that's the case. So we'll navigate to tools and then WP debugging. OK, so looking at the code here, it's seen the error message is visible to all users. So we don't want that. So we'll go ahead and select this option here where it says set debugging display to false. OK, so we'll do this and we'll still get an error log. So we'll still be able to check our error log for all the different errors that might um, appear on your website. OK, so we'll just hit save changes. OK, and that's saved fine. And whenever you want to view your error log, you can just go ahead and view the file here. OK, and here we've got a list of all the different errors, OK, on our site. So let's head back over to our dashboard. We'll disable this plugin and then we'll move on to show you different methods in how you can actually enable this on your WordPress site. So let's go plugins and WP debug. Let's deactivate this. OK, so we'll head back over to WeSuite and we will scroll down and then we'll go ahead and copy the code in which we need. OK. Just a note, we will be editing the WP config file. OK, so we can just copy this code here. Now we'll head over to our hosting account. OK, so just log into your hosting account. So this process might look slightly different depending on which hosting provider you're using, but the concept's exactly the same. OK, so ultimately you want to navigate over to your file manager. Um, shortly, I'll show you a different way and how you can approach this as well. Then we'll navigate to the site that we're currently using. OK, so we'll edit our WP config file. OK, so if we scroll down to where it says happy publishing, OK, here we can see it here. OK, and because we've used the debug plugin, um, which I mentioned earlier, so it's automatically added this code for us just above the message where it says that's all. Stop editing. Happy publishing. OK, so we don't actually need to do anything here. So if you want, you can um, paste in the code, which we've just copied, but essentially it will do the same thing. OK, so we can just hit save changes. So if you've deactivated a plugin and the error messages are still showing, then you might just need to reactivate the plugin and then go in and disable the settings. OK, alternatively, you can just come into your W P config file and then just delete it here. OK, so I'm just going to paste in a code which we've copied and then let's hit save changes and then let's close this off. Whenever there's an error on your site, you can always refer to the error log here and then here you can view all the different errors that's on your site. OK, you can send this over to the plugin author or the theme author that's responsible for the error and then they should be able to create a fix from there. OK, so one final bonus tip is let's navigate back over to our dashboard. Let's say for whatever reason, reason you don't have access to your hosting account and you can't find file manager then you can install a plugin like WP file manager okay so just search for WP file manager I'm going to activate this okay and then when we navigate over to WP file manager here so I'm just going to click on it so just like the file manager within our hosting account we can actually go ahead and edit the WP config file so we can just click code editor here and then we can scroll down to where it says happy publishing and then here we can paste in our code above it okay so that's the bonus tip and that's a quick and simple way to enable your wordpress error log in just a few simple steps if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you got any questions leave it in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible